Scotland is incredibly important to me and will always have a special place in my heart. I've been coming to Scotland since I was a small boy. As I grew up, I saw how my grandmother relishes every minute she spends here. And my father is never happier than walking among the hills. My childhood was full of holidays, having fun in the fresh air, swimming in locks, family barbecues with my grandfather in command, and yes, the odd midge. I spent four very happy and formative years studying in St Andrews. The town and the students left me alone to get on with student life, allowing me to share their freedoms and their pubs. I did training as a pilot in Inverness. As well as enjoying the camaraderie of my colleagues, it was a privilege to see the majestic sights of Scotland from the air. In short, Scotland is the source of some of my happiest memories, but also my saddest. I was in Balmoral when I was told that my mother had died. Still in shock, I found sanctuary in the service at Crathy Kirk that very morning. And in the dark days of grief that followed, I found comfort and solace in the Scottish outdoors. As a result, the connection I feel to Scotland will forever run deep. And yet alongside this painful memory is one of great joy, because it was here in Scotland 20 years ago this year that I first met Catherine. Needless to say, the town where you meet your future wife holds a very special place in your heart. <laughs>